Hi, thanks for watching. Uh, in this video, we're going to be solving again it's another series circuit <coughs> with two resistors. And in this problem, I want you to solve for the resistance, the total resistance, the total current, the voltage on R1, and the voltage on R2. So, uh, <coughs> to start off, we want to solve for the total resistance. So, how do we solve for RT? So, RT. This is equal to the sum of the resistors. And when you have resistors that are in series, they're just, they sum together. So R1 plus R2, and that's how you're going to solve it. That's going to be equal to RT. And this is equal to 10K plus 10K, or 10 kilo ohms, which is equal to 20 kilo ohms. That is equal to the total resistance. Now with that, now we need to solve for the total current. Now since I know what the voltage is, what the, what the voltage from the supply is from here to here, yeah, that, <coughs> this whole voltage all the way across from here to here is going to be the same. So the voltage here to here is the same as the sum of the voltage from here to here, which this is, this is VR1, and then VR2 is going to be, well, from here to here. So all this area in here is, is uh, VR2. So if you add VR1 and VR2, you're going to get the same thing as, as the voltage, as the 20 volts here. So the current, the total current, is going to be equal to the voltage, the total voltage, um, which is, well, I'm just going to call it the voltage of the supply, because that's really what it is. This is the power supply right here. Uh, and so the voltage of the power supply divided by the total resistance. And that's going to be equal to the total current. So the voltage of the supply is 20 volts. And it's going to be divided by the 20 kilo ohms. And that's going to be equal to uh, 0 0.001 amps. Or you can call it 1 milliamp. Same thing. Okay, so that's equal to the total current. So the total current is equal to 20. Oh, shoot, no, not 20, sorry. Uh, no, not 20. Yeah, no, the, the t sorry about that. The total current is equal to 1 milliamp. I had a brain fart there. Okay, so now that we solve for that, now we need to solve for the individual voltages. So now that. Uh, if you know the total current, the current that's flowing through this whole circuit, it's always going to be the same current. So the current going through here is exactly the same as the current going through here, through R2. So if I want to know this voltage, I just need a slightly different formula, which is just a reworking of this formula of the current is equal to the voltage divided by the resistance. So VR, VR1 is equal to the total current times R1. And the total current is 1 milliamp times uh, was R1? Uh, 10 kilo ohms. And that's going to give you a total of 10 volts. Now let's solve for the voltage on the second resistor, VR2. Now that's going to be equal to, again, you're going to multiply it by the total current. Now it's times the second resistor. And it's 1 milliamp times 10 kilo ohms. So again, you're going to get 10 volts. Uh, and you know, that, that makes sense because the voltage, oops, that off there. So the, the voltage of the supply, which is equal to the total voltage of this whole circuit, is equal to the voltage of VR1 plus the voltage on VR2. And since the voltage of the supply is 20 volts, and this one's 10 plus 10, it checks out. Uh, and that makes, let's, let's give you another view of it too. Because if you notice, this is, has the exact same resistance as this one. So this one is just going to take, it's going to drop half of the voltage off of the power supply. And this one's going to take the other half. So that's one way to think about it. Now let's make a second problem. Now in this problem, uh, we're going to solve it again 
uh, the same way. It's just with different uh, different resistances. So the voltage of the power supply in this one is equal to 20 volts. And I'm going to make it easier for myself. I'm going to draw this type of power supply. It's exactly the same type of power supply. It's just another way to draw it. No difference in the previous one. So here we got R1 again. And I'm going to say that's equal to 30 ohms. And I'm going to call this R2. And I'm going to say that's equal to 20 ohms. So now they're not going to drop an equal amount of voltage. And this is going to be where you would measure for VR1. From right here. And if I wanted to measure from VR2, I would stick my probes one here and one here. And it's going to be VR2. So in this problem, again, we want to solve for the total resistance, the current, well, the total current, well, oops, no, it's not equal to that, uh, then the voltage of VR1 and the voltage of VR2. So that's what we're doing here. So first off, let's solve for the total resistance. So the total resistance, again, we're going to get, since it's additive, uh, R1 plus R2. That's how you're going to solve. That's how you're going to do it. And this is only true because it's in series. If this was parallel, you wouldn't do this. But that's that's for a future video. So this is equal to 30 30 ohms plus 20 ohms. So you have a total of 50 ohms uh, for the entire resistance. Now that we solve for that, let's solve for the current. Step two: solve for the current, the total current which is equal to the voltage of the supply divided by the total resistance. And the total voltage of the supply is 20 volts divided by the total resistance, which is 50 ohms. And that's going to give you 0.4 amps. So now we got that. So we have the total resistance and we have the total current. So now we can we can actually use the total current, which just runs right through here, to solve for this voltage and then for this one. And you just do that with the reworking of the formula. So uh, third, let's solve for VR1, which is going to be equal to the total current times the resistance of the first resistor. And that's going to be equal to uh, 0.4 times the 30 ohms. And that's going to give you 12 volts. So that's VR1, 12 volts. And now let's solve for the second resistance, VR2. And that's going to, we're going to do the same process all over again. We're going to multiply the total current by the resistance of resistor 2. And that's going to be equal to 0.4 times the 20 ohms. And that's going to be equal to 8 volts. So VR2. And that one makes sense because uh, if you, you add VR1 and VR2, you're going to get 20 volts. Now, you didn't actually have to go through this whole step, or I didn't have to, to in order to get VR2. Um, I just did it to show you that it's exactly the same. Uh, you could have actually just uh, shortened this out by saying, that you know that the voltage of the supply is equal to VR1 plus VR2. Now from this you could have just used the algebra and just said, okay, well I know what this voltage is because you just solved for that one. And you, this one was given to you. So you could have just said VR2 is equal to the voltage of the supply minus VR1, which is this 20 minus 12 equal to 8 volts. And that would have been another way you could have solved for it. It's just, you know, uh, after you've done a few of these, you can see those little tricks, and, and they'll become pretty obvious to you. But when you're first starting out, you know it's kind of kind of tricky. So now, uh, in the other problems, I've been pretty mu I've been giving you the voltage of the supply. In this one, we're going to make it a little different. I'm not going to give you the voltage of the supply. So here, here's the the supply, the power supply's voltage. But we don't know what it is. But we do happen to know. what the current is. So the current is going to be equal to 2 amps. It's going to go around like that. 
and this is going to be R1, that's equal to 45 ohms, and this is R2, that's going to be equal to 15 ohms. And so for this one, uh, again, I want to solve for, I want to know what the voltage on this guy is, and I want to know what the voltage on this one is. So this is VR2, and this is VR1. And I want to find out, I want to solve for the voltage of supply, the voltage of VR1, and the voltage of VR2. And along the way, I'm going to also solve for uh, the total resistance, which you just get that by summing R1 and R2. So let's, again, let's solve for RT or the, the total resistance, and that's equal to R1 plus R2. So that's going to be equal to 45 plus 15. Oh, shoot, I'm running out of space. Oh, where'd you go? Uh, come on. Okay. So that's equal to 60 ohms, the total resistance. Now, since I already know what the total current is, I can just go straight ahead and solve for the total, or not the total resistance, but or the, I can solve for the voltage on VR1, which is going to be equal to the total voltage times the resistance on the resistor 1. So that's going to be equal to 2 amps times, uh, what was that? Uh, 45. 2 amps times 45 ohms. So VR1 is actually going to be equal to 90 volts. And now let's solve for VR2. So VR2 is going to be equal, well, now in order to get this, we have to multiply again by the total current times R1. Total current is 2 amps. The resistance on, oh no, not R1, sorry. This is supposed to be resistance, resistor 2. So resistor 2, uh, that was 15, yeah, 15 ohms. So you multiply those two together and you're going to get a total of 30 volts. So the voltage on resistor 2 is 30 volts. So here at this point, since I already know this, I can I could either add these two together, I could say the voltage of the supply is equal to VR1 plus VR2 in order to get the 120 volts. Or I could just say, well, I know that the total, the, or the voltage of the, of the power supply is going to be equal to the total current times the total resistance. And for the total current, we, it was given that it's 2 amps. And we solved for the total resistance, which was, uh, what was that? I think it was 60, I believe. Yeah, it's 60 ohms. So you can say 2 amps times 60 ohms, and that's going to give you 120 volts. So that's, that's the other way you could have gone about it, but you can use whichever one is easiest for you. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like it, uh, and I'll be making more videos, so please check them out, and thanks for watching.